what's up guys? Uh, this is your boy Van with another tip of the cap and um, tonight is the first night of the NFL draft for this year, coming year um, and they do and round one, I'll say that so um, this one is where my team cap right here uh, Seattle Seahawks and this is what the team, I mean like they there's different styles, there's this one, I don't think they're doing the team color versions, at least not at this, the draft, but there are those versions out there, as well as um, Flex 3950, 30, and like 950 snapback, but we're not talking, we're not going to mess with those. Um, but yeah, um, we got this cap at, um, I actually got this cap recently, like last week, at the Seattle team store or shop, which is like an affiliate of LID, so I was able to use my LID's membership card and get save eight bucks because we yeah, had retails for forty dollars. That's that's pretty ridiculous, but um, you know it's not it's, it's pretty it's pretty cool. Um, let's talk about the cap. So um, as you notice, um, something that they're starting to like do more often now is like instead of putting this the size sticker on the brim or even the other brim. Is just have like like a ornament style hang tag. So I'll have the NFL team headgear hang tag. It also has this like ornament looking thing. So it has a sticker, but since I'm a sticker off guy anyways, this makes it a little easier. And the nice thing for me at least is like you know, this is the thing about those like the whole debate. This is the whole reason like I'm why I'm sticker off. Uh, if you just stick around for a while on the brim or whatever, or you know you want to look look fresh to death, once it comes off, it just has this big old circle, crop circle there, and like you know your head no knows to wear a tear, but this is gonna look really different. It looks weird as as hell, but um, so that's why I just so like I'll keep the sticker on until I wear it, and once it's worn. Or like before, just before I wear it, sticker comes off. But that's this whole another debate for another time. But yeah, um, so they also are starting to do it on more like MLB caps as well. I've, I don't, I haven't got the like Mother's Day or Memorial Day caps yet. I plan to at least get the Memorial Day one. But um, they're doing the hang tags as well. So now for the fifty nine fifty on stage cap um, for all the NFL teams, they are doing the white white base with a like uh, leather uh, bill so as you see the logo is, is all in white although it doesn't look white but it actually doesn't look like you know like super white like this shade so it's almost almost more like an off-white in a way but anyways um yes and that is that color um with the liquid chrome logo uh, New Air Flag, NFL Shield, and like the contrasting team colorway, or the second team colors, I'll say. Uh, team word mark on the right side, and on the bill, it's like an oversized logo, and it's on the top and the bottom. So, you know, the, the, the under, like, I don't really care too much about, but, you know. They try to be a little different each year. I don't mind it. Um, I was just excited because I actually wanted a white Seahawks fit anyways. I, I actually have one. But, you know, I just, for a reason, I just wanted another one. And I just felt this was cool. I didn't get the one last year because, oh yeah, and like the eyelids too, I just noticed, are actually metal. So, but it's not like, you know, that gold metal. So... But anyways, that's the tip of the cap for my, for that. Um, yeah, so Seahawks have a late first round pick tomorrow. I wouldn't be overly surprised if they trade out of the first round because they've been known to do that over the past several years, especially with a late first round pick. Um, you know, it's, it's worked out okay. Um, could we gotten better players? Yeah, for sure. But I mean, that's just what the draft's all about. But um, yeah. So good luck to all the players that do get drafted tomorrow or tonight. 
in you know the next few days or so, and then also those that like get signed on as free agents because you know less than one percent of those that play from college ball get in the league. So you know, and like hopefully Seahawks have a solid draft. I think it seems like they they'll have a decent draft at least. I don't see anything like weird, crazy happening. And this kind of upgrade players that are like ready to contribute right away. So mainly along the O line and you know depth along like DBs and the line too. So um, the, the both both lines, offensive and defensive, as well as and ha- and like and like yeah, like linebackers too. We just need depth really, other than like uh, o- upgrade on the O line. But you know we'll. We'll see how it turns out. But anyways, tip to the cap, y'all. Um, I'm actually on vacation. Out of town for a few days, so probably won't post for till next week at the earliest. So uh till then this is your boy Van and um I'm out man, so holla. Peace.